Are you sure that your body is still safe? Do you dare to believe that every cell in you is not being controlled? We are stepping into an era where technology can repair the human body or destroy it from within. A nanoparticle, thousands of times smaller than a strand of hair, can wipe out a virus, eliminate a cancer cell, or even alter the human genome. But what happens when this technology falls into the wrong hands? An invisible assassin? A weapon that can infiltrate the body without anyone knowing? Nanotechnology? The savior of humanity? Or an impending nightmare? Are you ready? The truth will send shivers down your spine. Have you ever wondered, how small is nano? Let's take a strand of your hair as an example. On average, a human hair has a diameter of about 80,000 to 100,000 nanometers. Now imagine cutting it into 1,000 pieces. Each piece would be just 80 to 100 nanometers wide. And at this scale, we enter the fascinating world of nanotechnology. To put it in perspective, a soccer ball compared to Earth is like a nanoparticle compared to a soccer ball. Yes, it's that tiny, completely invisible to the naked eye, yet powerful enough to redefine everything we know about matter. Did you know that nanotechnology is not just an advanced research field, but also a booming industry? According to forecasts, the global nanotechnology market is expected to reach $288.71 billion by 2030, growing at a compound annual growth rate CAGR, of 14.5% from 2022 to 2030. This reflects the increasing interest and investment in this field worldwide. With its ultra-small size but limitless potential, nanotechnology is not just a scientific trend, it is the key to unlocking groundbreaking advancements for humanity. Nanotechnology is no longer a thing of the future. It's everywhere now. Did you know that tiny nanoparticles are helping humans fight diseases in ways never seen before? For example, cancer treatments can now be packaged inside nanoparticles, delivering the medicine directly to cancer cells without harming healthy ones. That's why some modern treatments have fewer side effects compared to traditional chemotherapy. A huge breakthrough, right? But don't think nanotechnology only exists in labs or hospitals. If you're applying sunscreen right now, chances are you're putting nano on your skin. Nanoparticles help sunscreen absorb quickly, protect better, and no longer leave that ghostly white layer like before. Remember those days when sunscreen made your face look like a ghost? Well, not anymore. And there's more. Stain-resistant, waterproof clothing. Yep, that's nanotechnology too. If you've ever spilled coffee on your shirt and watched it roll off like water on a lotus leaf, congratulations, you've experienced the power of nano coatings. And for those who hate washing their cars, I know there are plenty of you out there, some nano coatings can keep your car spotless without hours of scrubbing. Nanotechnology is even in food. Some food packaging uses nanosilver to prevent bacteria growth, keeping food fresh for longer. So, if you're wondering why that piece of meat in your fridge still looks fresh after a week, nanotechnology might just be the reason. Nanotechnology is amazing, right? But it's also terrifying. Nanotechnology is everywhere. Medicine, food, clothing, even sunscreen. But don't celebrate just yet because its dark side is just as scary. And no, I'm not talking about accidentally swallowing a nanoparticle. I'm talking about things far more terrifying. Nanoweapons. A real nightmare? We've heard of nuclear weapons and biological weapons, but what about nanoweapons? Imagine ultra-small nanoparticles sneaking into your body without anyone noticing, slowly destroying your cells from the inside. No bombs, no guns. An enemy could simply release a cloud of nanoparticles into the air and boom, you inhale them without knowing while they silently carry out their deadly mission. Sounds like something out of a science fiction movie? Not exactly. Scientists have warned that if this technology falls into the wrong hands, it could be used to create nanoparticles capable of damaging DNA or weakening the immune system, making a person sick without leaving any trace. The next generation of bioweapons absolutely possible. Nanorobots in warfare, the silent killers. If you think only guns and missiles are dangerous, think again. Nanotechnology could lead to nano-sized robots capable of moving through the bloodstream and attacking the nervous system. An army that can't be seen, can't be heard, can't be stopped, yet can paralyze a person instantly. Now imagine a swarm of nanorobots deployed on the battlefield, 
They wouldn't need tanks or aircraft. They would simply infiltrate the bodies of enemy soldiers and sever their nervous connections. One touch, and they lose the ability to fight. If this becomes a reality, we may never see traditional warfare again. Can nanotechnology shut down an entire city? You think a weapon has to be massive to be destructive? Think again. Some researchers have experimented with using nanoparticles to sabotage electronic systems. By coating circuits with nanoparticles, they could short-circuit entire systems, shutting down critical equipment like radars, weapon controls, and even city power grids. Imagine a nano-army infiltrating a data center, destroying security systems, or even causing a plane to crash by disabling its controls. This wouldn't be traditional warfare anymore. It would be nano-warfare. Nano-contamination. A threat beyond control? Nanotechnology can heal diseases, protect the environment, and improve our lives. But the problem is, they're too small. So small that they can float in the air, enter water supplies, cling to food, and we wouldn't even know it. If a nanoparticle leak occurred in a factory, these particles could stay airborne for weeks, getting into our lungs as we breathe. Studies show that some nanoparticles can damage the lungs, cause neurological disorders, and accumulate in the body. And the worst part? No one knows for sure what happens if they keep building up in our bodies over the years. Imagine a world where materials can heal themselves, medicines can precisely locate and destroy cancer cells, and tiny robots can travel through your bloodstream to repair your body from the inside. Sounds like science fiction, right? But this is the reality of the nanotechnology race that global superpowers are pursuing. The US, China, and the European Union. Who is leading the way? Undeniably, the US has long been a powerhouse in this field, with top tech companies and cutting edge research labs. However, China is rapidly catching up, pouring billions into nanotech research with the goal of surpassing the US in the coming years. And the EU, they are focusing on medical and environmental applications. But here's the crucial question. Can the US maintain its position? Historically, the US has led the way in technological races, from space exploration to AI. But with China's rapid advancements, does the US have what it takes to stay ahead? Investing in nanotechnology is not just about science. It's a battle for economic dominance and military power. So, are we standing at the threshold of a revolution or a nightmare? Nanotechnology brings unimaginable breakthroughs, curing diseases, advancing technology, even cleaning our planet. But think about its dark side. If it falls into the wrong hands, could it become an uncontrollable biological weapon? A tool for manipulating humanity? We've seen how great technologies can change the world, for better or for worse. The real question isn't just how far we can develop nanotechnology, but whether we are wise enough to control it. What do you think? Will nanotechnology be the key to a brighter future or the fire that consumes everything? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's discuss. Because this decision isn't just for scientists, it's for all of us. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss out on more exciting content. See you in the next video.